First things first, I just want to give a round of applause for every single person alive who decides to go against the grain, who decides to go their own way in life and not fall victim to what society is, to what society tries to trap you in and the, and the small little bubble they try to just fit you in. I just want to give a round of applause for every single person who decides to go against the grain because it's not easy, especially not at first, especially not at first. I'm telling you guys right now, society is cursed. People is cursed. You see some of the people, bro, they have a lot of God-given talent. And they're allowing society to put them in a bubble. You can't care. In fact, I gravitate towards people who do things different. It's like that person stands out, you know. They're not always just in the mix. They, they stand out. They got their own identity. They're doing what they want to do. They're literally becoming and shaping and molding themselves into the human being that they're supposed to be. I gravitate towards people like that. It's the best kind of people. Male or female, it's the best kind of people. Like, you're different. You're not the same. And what's crazy is some of the most talented people are just sucked into society. And it's like they can't get out. They might care what their own parents think. They might care what their own siblings think. They might care what their old friends think. They might care about what these females think. They might care about what, I don't know. You probably care what your goldfish thinks. Swimming around in its tank. You probably care what it thinks about you. That's how much they care. And it is a curse. You were holding yourself back. You were, you were literally putting a roadblock on your greatness. Because all you have to do is become who God put you on earth to be. That equals greatness in itself. It will be enough. And you will see that as time goes on. You're not going to see it right away. You're going to see it as time goes on. That that is enough. You will be, giving, you will be given everything you need. And you will find out. That is good enough. What's not good enough is having this dark cloud over your head in life. And it's like, oh my God, things shouldn't be this way and it shouldn't be that way. And I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. I just, I can't figure it out. And, and, and bro, a lot of people's in that position. That's something you have to work through. I've been in that position. You have to really bite down and look yourself in the mirror and say, I'm gonna do it. I don't care what I have to go through. I know I have it. I know I got it. And nobody's gonna stop me. Society's not gonna put me in this bubble, in this little barrel of crabs, crabs in the bucket not happening to me I'm gonna set myself apart I'm gonna leave no stones unturned I'm gonna leave no doubt so many people bro they have they have these certain distractions in their life it could even be your own family for some of you I am way too good at this point to allow anything to actually distract me to stop me from what I'm doing it's just impossible. It's simply not going to happen. Anything that tries is just gonna get blown away. It's not gonna happen. Who I am has to continue on, has to live on. The same with you, but some of you have these, certain things is like holding you back. You have to eliminate it. And it might not happen overnight, but you have to like think logically and critically and make a plan for that to stop because that is the curse of society. That's what a lot of people's in. You have to get yourself out. This is a solid, solid message and it's very strong. I know what it's like to be in that position. I know what it feels like to have so much talent. You feel like you could do anything that anyone on earth is doing, but there's something just stopping you, it feels like. I know what it's like. I know what it feels like. You have to use every ounce of your being 
Like, if you're in that position and you're still partying, you're still turning up, still drinking, still doing drugs, still breathing clouds of smoke like fire-breathing dragons, you think you're the dragon off Shrek or some shit. Like, brother, what are you doing? What the are you doing? You're in that position, and you think you can even afford to do anything even once? You can't. Because guess what? There's someone on earth that's going to take your place. Someone on earth is going to take your place. God see this, sees this, and he's going to say, you know what? Look at this person. Look at this fool. He thinks or she thinks I'm going to bless them. They have a whole lot of work in front of them, and they still want to party. They still want to do this. They still want to do that. You think you deserve it? You have this dark cloud over your head and you think you can keep doing some dumb ass shit like that? No. <laughs> I wasn't doing that. When there was that cloud over my head and it's like, I know I have so much, but I don't know what it is and I can't figure it out, but I know I have something I'm going to figure it out. When I was in that position and I felt like so many things in my life at that time was holding me back, I was obsessed. I was a man possessed. I was on a mission. I was like living a perfect life. Perfect as in disciplined perfectly. Meals on point, health on point, getting all the information I could, still going through experiences, learning from those. Running all hours of the night while everyone's in bed sleeping, I'm road runner, cause I'm a road runner. I'm running in the middle of the damn road with a set of headphones on with a set of beats. Jogging down the road, feeling like a king. Nothing's going to stop me. This is the type of shit you guys got to put yourself through. This is the type of shit you guys have to put yourself through. You are an inspiration. You're the next Eminem. Maybe not literally as a rapper, but like you, you're the next great. Start acting like it. Start carrying yourself like this and stop thinking you'd like, there's still this cloud over your head and you still think you deserve to just do a whole bunch of dumb shit. What the are you doing? In this case, you're not a great. What are you doing? Leave no stones unturned. That's what leaving no stones unturned really is. Do you understand? You have to pull lightning out of your ass. You have to feel that type and that level of motivation and inspiration within yourself. You have to feel like there's something huge on your life. Huge. Tremendously big. There's something huge. And you know it. You can feel it. You're not crazy. You can feel it. And you're going on in life. You're putting in those hours. You're putting in those reps. You're putting in that work. You're staying focused. Because you know there's something about you and your life and the way you feel and the way things are. You know there's something there. And you're going to do everything in your power to make that a reality. This is what I want. This is the type of shit I want you guys on. You still got that dark cloud over your head? That's what you got to be doing. You got to hype yourself up. You got to amp yourself up. Stop even being around the people that's around you right now that's holding you back. Like, there's so many things you have to do. Like, I made people mad when I was going on in life like that a long time ago. I was, I was pissing people off. I was shrugging people off. People was like, oh, look at this dick. He don't care about nobody else but himself and all this bullshit. I don't want to be distracted by you kind of people. It's not that I'm a dick. I am focused. I am focused. I know who I am. You have to leave me alone. That's all it is. Like, send me to World War III. Send me to the military. Because I'm ready to go. <laughs> I'm ready for war, but I, I created my own war. That's what you guys have to do. You don't have to go to the military. You don't have to go fight World War III. You can create your own war. Your life is war. Masculine life is war, and if you don't view it that way, you will lose. 
This is how it has to be. You are a warrior. So start carrying yourself this way. There's something huge on your life. Imagine how big you could be if you were to do it. If you were to stop partying every weekend and doing the dumbest things known to man. Because you're being like everybody else. You're going where everybody else is going. You're doing what everybody else is doing. How are you different? Really set yourself apart. Really go down that path. Really be a man possessed. Some of you don't know what that feels like. <laughs> I live and breathe this every single day. I despise getting off track. It don't feel right. Because I'm pulling lightning out of my ass on a daily basis. That's what you have to do. Do whatever you have to do. Just stop doing what everybody else is doing. That's how you win. That's how you find out who you are. How are you going to find out who you are if you're surrounded by complete morons? They're going to hold you back. They're going to convince you that you're a moron because they're a moron. That's the way it goes, brother. You cannot think that way. You can't let anything around you stop you. It's like, no. No. Nothing. Because I'm going to be who I'm going to be. Yes, I'm stubborn. Mm -hmm. I am who I am. Don't get in my way. Don't stop me. Guess what? There's a train on the train tracks, Junior. You better get off the train tracks or you're going to get run over. That's the type of shit you gotta be on. That type of shit. Stop taking no for an answer. The only answer is yes, I'm gonna do this. Yes. I'm going to self-motivate myself. Even on the days when I don't feel motivated, I'm going to find a way to feel that spark. That greatness type feeling. There's so many times in your life where you, you can't, you don't even, you're not even capable of feeling that, that greatness type of feeling. There's going to be those times and you still have to do what you have to do during those times. Those, those types of feelings, folks, are fleeting. They're very fleeting. There's times where you're gonna feel like you're on top of the world. There's something huge for you. There's gonna be times where it's like, not so much. You have to work through those times as well. You have to fight through those times as well. Pull that lightning out of your ass regardless. Y'all know what success is all about. You all know what it's about. It's not just these highs of highs and highs and highs and highs and highs. No. What goes up has got to come back down, but you can go up again as long as you're alive. You have these moments where you're, you're on your upspring, you're going to come back down again. It don't, you're not just going to go up and stay there your whole life. And you're not just going to keep going up and up and up and up. It's going to come back down. When an airplane flies up, yeah, you're happy. You're going to your location. It's going to come back down again. It's what you do during those down times as well. It's a fight. It is a fight. And you have to be willing to fight with every ounce of your being. Leave no stones unturned. Find that greatness within yourself. Find those types of feelings. Do something that's crazy. Take an ice bath. That's pretty damn crazy, bruh. Most people in the world won't get in an ice bath. Most people in the world won't. Like if you look at the percentage of people in the world, most people will not get in an ice bath. A small percentage of people on earth will actually do it and can actually stay in it. Like do something, do something crazy. Set yourself apart. Stop being like everybody else. Y'all go to the club with some friends or something like this. Everyone's just drink after drink, drinking so much. Have one drink and leave it at that. Stop being like everybody else. Stop. Do what's best for you. That's what you should do. That 
that's exactly what a lot of people is not going to like about you. You have to be okay with that. They don't understand. They don't live with this type of a purpose, with this type of passion. With this type of calling that God has gifted on you. Honestly, this is stuff that you can't even force as a human being. Like you can, but I think some people have this and some people are so far gone, they just, they can't feel it. They can't, they can't even do these things. I was born with this. I have felt these feelings my whole life since I was a kid, literally. Like I knew, like I knew. Don't ask me how, don't ask me why. Ask God, because I really don't know. I just know what I felt. And if you feel certain things and you know it to be true, and you put it out there, it always comes to pass. That's how confident you were in the things that you knew. That's why you get a lot of haters too. Because your haters, they're not capable of it. They're not capable of it, of, of, of feeling those things and speaking it out like that. Most people can't even look themselves in the mirror and say, you know what, I'm going to do it regardless. I don't care how I feel. I'm going to do it. Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do it. Most people don't even feel what I, what I just explained and felt. Most people don't because the, their confidence is so low. They feel so shallow. They simply can't put themselves to actually do that and mean it. That's something in itself you have to fight through. If you don't feel like doing it, if you feel like all oh, yourself are like, fight, start to fight. People don't want to fight. People don't want to find out. Are you like the people or are you different? Because you got to set yourself apart. And some people, they have to learn so many different lessons. It's like there's so many things you have to go through in order for you to see everything you're doing is just wrong. Like it has to wake you. You, you're, you make so many mistakes and you almost avoid reality until that time comes where it's like, you know what? I really have to do this with or without anybody. Like, this is actually what I have to do. This is what God is waiting for. And I have to do it. I have to stop parrying my friends. What am I doing? I have to stop blowing clothes, clothes, clouds of smoke like a fire-breathing dragon. Like, what am I doing? Everyone else is doing that. I have to stop. And I have to get focused. And I have to be in these places. And I have to do this. And I have to do that. And all of a sudden, you're so booked up. You're so busy. No one else is on your path. Nobody else is doing what you're doing. And all of a sudden, that's where you are. And you don't back down. You keep going. And you keep growing. And you keep glowing. Your light becomes so bright, you start to get haters. You start to get, you start to get stalked. People's looking at you funny. People turn their backs. Because you had these epiphanies where it's like, you got no other choice. This is what God has called you for. You have no other choice. This is what it is. This is what it is. And this is the way it's going to be. Nobody else is going to come with me. Nobody else wants to do these things. That's where I was at, guys. I was a people person back in the day. I'm still a people person, but it's like, <laughs> no, ain't no one sticking around my psychopathic ass to do that work. Nobody. Nobody want to do it. Nobody has the calling. Barely anyone has the calling that God has put on their life and is actually living it. Because they're so distracted with their, with their friends, with the weekend, with, with this, with that, with some ratchet chick. <laughs> Whatever it might be. Not you. You're different. You're focused. You're on a mission. This is war. This is what it is. And you ain't backing down. You're going to make life what it should be. You'll put your whole damn life into this. Everybody else, nothing to show for Go, go to every party. Go to every vacation. You're going to come back miserable. And I'm going to be right here feeling just fine. 
So go ahead and do what you do. I'm going to be a force to be reckoned with. And I, I, I suggest the same for you guys. Wake up and start doing the things that you know you should be doing with or without anybody. And with that being said, God willing, God bless. I'll see you all at the top.